Hi guys and welcome to Diving Down Under. Today I'm going to be looking at the operations of a Sunto Cobra 3. Now I've owned this particular computer forever and I've never had any problems with it. It's absolutely brilliant. Now as you see on the back we have got the active contact contacts which doubles up as a download port for your computer. Now I'm going to take the screen off, the screen protector off this, just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Now when you first press any button on the Cobra, the time and the date will appear. Now to enter the time settings, press and hold the down button. Now as you can see we have various settings here, and to select any of the settings just press the select button. Now we can turn the alarm on or off using the up or down arrows, press select then to set the time. To say 7.15, set the hours, press select and it'll move over to minutes. When you're done, press select again and it'll return to the menu. Press the up arrow to move across to the time, and then you can select the time using the up or down arrows. Press select to move across to the minutes hand, again up or down to set, and then select again to go to the seconds hand. Select one more time gives you the option of a 12 or a 24 hour clock. Press select to go back. Moving across to the date, select onto the date, you can set the year first, followed by the month, and then the day. Press select again brings you back to the main menu. Moving on to units, you have the option of imperial or metric, and moving across onto backlight, it gives you the option of the time. 5, 10, 20, 30, or even 60 seconds. Press select again to return, and then you can move on to the tones. Now the tones is pretty much just the beep on or off. Press select and then press the mode button on the right hand side to return back to the time. Now moving across into the air dive mode, you press the mode button and then select air using the up or down arrows. Allow the computer to start up, it'll display if its deep stops are on, the battery is OK, and then you have your display. At the top is your depth, then you have your surface interval, your no-fly time, your current tank pressure, and the current temperature. Now if you press the down button, you can scroll through maximum depth reached on that dive, you can scroll through the time, and you can also scroll back to the bar pressure. Now, on the right hand side you have the option of degrees, dive time, and back to degrees. Now to go into the air dive settings, press and hold the down arrow and this will take you into the settings menu. Now as you can see here we have the depth alarm. Now the depth alarm is used to warn you if you go below a certain depth. Very handy for your qualification to set it at that particular depth. Use the up and down arrows to set. Once you've set it, press the select button to go back to the menu. Coming across we have the dive time alarm. Very handy as well if you're on a specific run time. You can set it to on or off, press your select to go to the actual time set, and then you can use the up and down arrows to set the time accordingly. After you've finished, press the select to go back. Moving across, we have the personal altitude settings. Now the personal setting allows you to create a more conservative dive profile, two being the most conservative and zero being the least conservative. This is used if you are particularly prone to decompression sickness. Press select to move down to the altitude settings, you have one and two. Now if you look on the rear of the computer, you will see that the altitude settings are printed on the back. A1 gives you 300 meters to 1500 meters, while A2 gives you 1500 meters to 3000 meters. Ensure the altitude is set if you are diving at altitude. Now moving across to sample rate. Now sample rate is the rate in which the dive profile, like your tank pressure, your depth, etc., is stored into the computer's memory. The lower the rate, the more accurate the dive log, but the more memory you will use. Now moving across to deep stops. Now deep stops adds an extra layer of safety to a dive. It allows you to stop deeper in the water to allow the gas to off-gas quicker. You can set it to either one or two minutes. Now moving across to RGBM. Now RGBM stands for Suntos Reduced Gradient Bubble Model. Now if it's set at 100% it allows for a more conservative dive, while if it's allowed at 50% it allows for a less conservative dive. Now moving across to units, as with the time settings it gives you the option of metric or imperial. Moving across, tank pressure alarm is the pressure in which the alarm on the computer will sound. Just remember that the computer will warn you at 50 bar, then it will continuously warn you when it hits the tank alarm pressure. Once you've set that, you can press the select button to return to the menu, and then the mode button to return back to the dive mode. 
Well, that's all for this video, guys. If you want more information on the Sunto Cobra 3, check out my other videos entitled Nitrox and Compass Use, the rest of the functions, and Battery Changing. Otherwise, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.